Amazing! Everything is exactly as it was. Peter! What's he doing? Nice dress! Thank you. Greetings! You look very much like your ancestors. <laughs> weird! Yeah, weird! <laughs> it must be strange to meet someone from the past. <laughs> yeah, you're really strange. <laughs> Did Henry put you up to this? He helped me come to the future. What future? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Oh, and Henry, I see you're in costume as well. You can be in the play too. No way! I'm not getting all dressed up in front of everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I know just the part for you. Yeah, Henry. I'm not doing it. <laughs> you can be the <laughs> ugly <laughs> sister. <laughs> <laughs> You saved me. You're my hero. I never saved you. I got rid of the dog because... Because... Because he was going to get Mr Kill. I shouted at it to save Mr Kill. Not you. That's not true. You... You saved me. Uh, uh, I wouldn't have cared if that dog had eaten both your legs and your nose. I wouldn't have cared if... Yesterday, and this morning they forgot my breakfast. Hurry up with my breakfast! No! Phew! That was close. Hey! What about my breakfast? It's almost lunchtime! It is lunchtime, but you can't eat until after your tests, so stop ringing the bell. give you yucky jelly. I want my yucky jelly! At least I'm missing school. That's fair. Go away! Henry, your mother said we could visit. How are you feeling? Depends. Did you bring homework? No. Then I'm fine. Good. We were so worried when we heard you'd been kept in hospital overnight. Weren't we, Margaret? You were. Can we just give him the card? What card? The class made a card. Even I signed it. It says, Get well, hero. You're a hero, Henry, for saving your little brother. Everyone knows. Oh! Aren't you going to take your card, you ungrateful pig? I'd rather you got me something to eat. Uh, sorry, I don't think you're allowed food. No, you're going to have a brain scan because they're not sure if you've got one. Oh, I'm out of here. Get better soon, Henry. 
And uh, if your parents think you should stay home for a while, that's fine with me. <sighs> what a disaster. My reputation's ruined. Just you wait. People will start calling me Hero Henry. It's not fair. And I'm so hungry. No one cares that I'm hungry but me. So I'm going to find some food. Bed. What's all this? Um, Ralph lent me some comics. Hmm. Well, don't stay up all night reading. Good night. <laughs> Hope I go to bed early. Run away from home if you must know. No, you haven't. I've run away from home. No, I have. Haven't. Have. Haven't. Have. Anyway, this is my tree house, so go away. I can sit here if I want to. Can't. Can. Can't. Can. Ouch! Get off my leg. Shh. They'll find out we're running away. Well, don't think for a minute you're coming with me. You can't come with me either. Where are you going, anyway? Africa! Ha! Huh, yuck! Who'd want to go there? I'm going to Susan's house. <laughs> Susan's house? That's not running away. It's so easy being me. I'm Horrid Henry. I don't know where all the plastic recycling bottles are. They seem to have disappeared. Sorry, Mum. Gotta go. Well, actually... Ow! Pinter's got to go too! Now, you haven't forgotten that we're going out for our anniversary meal tonight, have you? Oh, this is heavy, Peter. Whatever have you got in here? Uh, uh, come on, Peter, we don't want to be late. Oh, uh, bye, boys. Then help is at hand with Henry and Peter's perfect perfume. But what about some perfume? Uh, I don't know. I thought you said you'd be careful. I am being careful. You know it makes sense. <laughs> uh, who in their right mind's gonna buy perfume from you? Uh, hello, 
Hello, Miss Oddbod. <gasps> oh, no! Miss Oddbod! What are you doing, Henry? He's selling perfume, Miss. Here, in the playground. Oh, I see. And what is this perfume called, Henry? Perfect perfume, Miss. I'm, um, selling it to raise money for needy children. Would you like to buy some? Ooh, powerful yet understated. I'll take some. What? And as it's for charity, you keep the change. La I want a bottle. I want two. Coming right up. You smelt the rest. Now smell your best. One at a time now, girls. Here you go, Margaret. You could do with it. <laughs> I'd rather wrestle a tiger than give you money, Henry. Yeah. One, please. I said we'd be rich. <laughs> Quite the little entrepreneurs, aren't we? I'll have that. And in return, you shall both have detention after school. Oh, please. No, we can't be late. My mum and dad are going out for their anniversary dinner. Oh, dear. Double detention. Me, Henry, I need to brush my teeth. Henry? You're reading a book. Mm, it's a really interesting book. What's it about? Promise you won't tell. I promise. It's called The Werewolf Spotter's Guide to Spotting Weird Werewolves. Really? I borrowed it from Dad's bookshelf. It's a very scary book. Really? Yep. Tells you all about how to spot a weird werewolf. Ooh. Uh-oh. How long has your hair been like that? Like what, Henry? Like curly. It says here that curly hair is the first sign of turning into a weird werewolf. Does it? Have you uh, noticed any other signs? Um, what kind of signs? Let's see. Second sign of turning into a werewolf, itchy hands. Third sign is sharp teeth. Have you brushed your teeth yet, boys? Time to brush your teeth, Peter, yeah. if you dare. Oh. All set for bed, honey bunny. Mum, do I look any different to you? Different? No. You're still my perfect little honey bunny. So I don't seem any hairier? <laughs> Actually, your hair has got very curly. Maybe we should cut it soon. Night, night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bugs bite. Bite? Enter. Henry, I need to talk to you. What about, Peter? I think I'm turning into a weird werewolf. Well, the book does say that there's a cure, but it's very rare. Uh, what is it? Fangle juice. Fangle juice? Yes, fangle juice from the rare Fingal Fangle tree. But where are we going to get fangle juice from at this time of night? Well, it just so happens that I know where we can get some. But it's very expensive. Two pounds. Two pounds? Well, if you want to turn into a weird werewolf. I'll get my money box right away. Pokemon now. 
now. Mum, didn't you and Dad stop Henry's pocket money for the next two years because he was being so horrid? <laughs> yes, we did, Peter. Thank you for reminding me, Sweetie Pop. Yeah, thanks for reminding her, Worm. Oh, I could get a job. You could pay me to do all the chores. Like putting my plate in the sink. <gasps> Thank you, Henry. Mum, didn't you and Dad say Henry has to do all the chores as punishment for his school report? Yes, we did, Peter. And you can start by finishing the dishes. Good idea, Mum. Silence, worm. <laughs> Control plane? A plane? I had one when I was a boy. Let's see if I can remember how to make one. Really? Oh, yes. I used to make them all the time when I was a kid. Ta-da! Well, that worked. Oh, but thanks, Dad. For nothing. I have to come shopping with you. Should have brought Peter. He loves going shopping with you. And he also loves happy hippos. And it's his turn to watch them this afternoon. So stop moaning, Henry, and hurry up. Well, it's just not fair. Oh, look. I'm a lady has got a sail on. Stay here, Henry. I'll just pop in for a quick look. Won't be long. Look! Oh, and how expensive. Oh, I'll never be able to afford one of those. Not in a million years. Huh. Trust mischievous Mike to get his hands on one. Eureka! That's it! Mike, wait! Yeah? Oh, I need your plane. It's an emergency. What are you talking about? I need it to, uh, uh, to rescue a cat that's been stuck in a tree. Oh, all right then. Can I just borrow it? Just for a day? Half a day? An hour then? I'll swap it for anything you want. Hmm. You still got your Gross Class Zero comic collection? All of them? Including the Super Bumper Smilly Snotfield edition, when Sam Snotfield defeated the evil Emperor three times? Oh, yeah. Definitely got that one. It's a deal, then. One hour only, but you'd better look after it. Oh, I will. Nothing's going to happen to it. Don't you worry. It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. Um, could I have my pocket money now? Mum, didn't you and Dad stop Henry's pocket money for the next two years because he was being so horrid? <laughs> yes, we did, Peter. Thank you for reminding me, Sweetie Pop. Yeah, thanks for reminding her, Worm. Oh, I could get a job. You could pay me to do all the chores. Like putting my plate in the sink. <gasps> Thank you, Henry. Mum, didn't you and Dad say Henry has to do all the chores as punishment for his school report? Yes, we did, Peter. And you can start by finishing the dishes. Good idea, Mum. Silence, worm. <laughs> Don't be horrid, Henry. I only said I wanted a remote control plane. A plane? I had one when I was a boy. Let's see if I can remember how to make one. Really? Oh, yes. I used to make them all the time when I was a kid. Ta-da! Well, that worked. Oh, but thanks, Dad. For nothing. Why do I have to come shopping with you? Should have brought Peter. He loves going shopping with you. And he also loves happy hippos. And it's his turn to watch them this afternoon. So stop moaning, Henry, and hurry up. Well, it's just not fair. Oh, look. 
My milady has got a sail on. Stay here, Henry. I'll just pop in for a quick look. Won't be long. Look! How cool is that? Oh, and how expensive. Oh, I'll never be able to afford one of those. Not in a million years. Huh. Trust mischievous Mike to get his hands on one. Eureka! That's it! Mike, wait! Yeah? Oh, I need your plane. It's an emergency. What are you talking about? I need it to, uh, uh, to rescue a cat that's been stuck in a tree. Oh, all right then. Can I just borrow it? Just for a day? Half a day? An hour then? I'll swap it for anything you want. Hmm. You still got your Gross Class Zero comic collection? All of them, including the Super Bumper Smilly Snotfield edition, when Sam Snotfield defeated the evil Emperor three times? Oh, yeah. Definitely got that one. It's a deal, then. One hour only, but you'd better look after it. Oh, I will. Nothing's going to happen to it. Don't you worry. It's so easy being me. I'm <laughs> Looks like a big bogey. Don't be horrid, Henry. Whew, I'm going to take it into school for my show and tell on Friday. What a lovely idea, Peter. Still looks like a big bogey. What's for tea, Mom? Stew and dumplings. <laughs> Stew and big bogeys, more like. <laughs> Henry! It was this big. <laughs> Uh, it's true, isn't it, Henry? It was this big, wasn't it? What was? The booga bogey you pulled out of your nose yesterday. What? Oh, oh yeah, it, it was really, really big. Don't believe you, Henry. It's true. And when I got home, I managed an even bigger one. It was the size of a dumpling. <laughs> really don't believe that, Henry. Well, that's your problem. Yeah, it is your problem, cos Henry's still king of the Booga Bogies. Says who? Says me, that's who. And Henry, he says so too, don't you, Henry? Uh, yeah, I say so too. Settle down, everyone. If you are the king of the Booga Bogies... He is? Then prove it, Slime Snot. I will. Sit down, Henry. No! <laughs> Nearly got it! <laughs> Here it comes! <laughs> Never mind, Henry, there's still time! Oh, wait a been flicking boogies, have you? <laughs> Afraid not, sir. Hey? Still looks like a big bogey. I can't wait to take my bogus and Beatalorius into school tomorrow. Miss Lovely will be so proud of me. And I'm so proud of you too, Peter. I wonder why it's called a bogus and Beatalorius. It's called a bogus and beetleorius because it's not really a beetle. No, it's a bogey. Mom, Henry keeps calling my bogus and beetleorius a bogey. Henry, any more comments about bogies and you'll go straight to your room. <laughs> Mom, I can smell something burning. <gasps> oh, your tea. What's wrong with bogies anyway? They're not nice, Henry. It's so easy being me, I'm Horrid Henry. Uh, uh. Henry, time for school. I can't go to school today, Mum. Wherever not. Well, I've got a cough. <coughs> oh, come on, Henry. You'll have to do better than that. Um, uh, the school burnt down yesterday. Oh, I didn't see any flames. Silence, worm. Don't be horrid, Henry. I can't go to school today because I I've broken my leg. Ow! Ow! Oh, 
the pain? Oh, poor Henry. I know it's injection day today, Henry, and you are going to school whether you like it or not. Now, let me see. B for broken leg. Just lie back and relax, Henry. I can help you. Yes, Peter. Yes, you can. <laughs> I don't want to pretend to be you for the day. You'll get to play in the big boy's playground. Yes. Whoa! And you'll get to sit in the big boy's class. So? You'll get maths homework. Oh, <gasps> goody! I love maths homework. Um, but. If I'm you, where do I get your injection? Oh, yeah. Uh, I hadn't thought of that. But think of all that maths homework. This is never going to work. Of course it will. Henry? Peter? <sighs> You're right. It's never going to work. It's so easy. Hey, Peter! Why can't I play on my happy hopper instead? Because it won't look as funny. But I mean good. Mum and Dad will love seeing their little Peter playing in the garden. And action! Woohoo! I did it! I did it! That wasn't supposed to happen. It was supposed to snap! Whoa! Whoa! <coughs> Mum and Dad will be so proud that their little angel has learned to ride his bike. Oh, I don't know if I can do this. Of course you can. Come on, Worm. Just think of the proud look on Mum and Dad's faces. You're okay. Now, both of you clean yourselves up. Cousin Polly will be here any minute for tea. Ooh, goody! Prissy Polly? Tea? That's it! <laughs> what are the funniest disasters on Laugh Till It Hurts? The ones with food, of course! Two hundred pounds, here I come! I think it's very nice of you, Henry, to record Polly's visit. She's my favourite cousin. Ah, she's here. Not really. She meant Peter. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Henry, you got me! such thing as ghosts. There's something in the wardrobe. Just waiting to get me. Don't be a scaredy cat, Henry. You're not afraid of anything. Except injections. Thank you. 
revenge will be mine! <laughs> Morning, Henry. Did you sleep well? Very well, thank you. After breakfast, why don't you two go outside to play? Oh, that'll be fun, Aunt Ruby. That's mine! <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> It's mine! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> Today. Oh, yes, Aunt Ruby. It was well good. No pudding for me, thanks, Aunt Ruby. I'm going to bed. <gasps> no pudding? All that playing has tired me out. Good night, Steve. Oh. <laughs> See you in the morning. Good night, Aunt Ruby. 